Hello and welcome to another video, I think, yes. And uh, today I'm going to be looking at uh, isometric stuff uh, from a game I made. Uh, well, I say game loosely because it was just a demo of uh, trying to make Bomberman in sort of isometric projection in Construct 2. Um, now, I'm really terrible at looking at my comments and generally checking my YouTube channel, so I'm going to try and get better at that, especially since there's nothing much else for me to do, since I can't go out anywhere during this time. So, um, yes, this is me trying to do my best to then answer those questions. Um, and the biggest question was, how do you do all the uh, isometric stuff in Construct 2? Um, and if I just quickly, if I just show you the video, in, uh, the video show you the game in question. The video? Uh, no, actually, yeah, well, this was the video of me before I had the ability to speak or... Uh, well, I could speak at the time, I just couldn't do it on videos. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, this is uh, this is this is good beer, by the way. Mm. Uh, I don't think it's a product placement because you probably couldn't see what it was. It's a red beer. Um, I don't want to give it away. So, this was my attempt at making in the Construct 2 engine um, a sort of Bomberman-like uh, clone thing. And it, it, it was pretty good. And then uh, people asked, what do they ask? So we get the... Did you use four each orders for a sword? Oh, so someone... Uh, so Combo TG has already figured it out. Um, so yeah, whatever Combo TG said, it is basically all the sprites by Y ascending. So the ones at Y0 are rendered first, then goes through. And I can just show you that is it. That is that is basically it. That's all there is to doing um, uh, the isometric rendering. The only other thing um, is, and this is fairly important. Um, they're, it's kind of hard to um, get a nice tessellation on uh, blocks, so they're going to look pretty terrible unless you do something fancy with animation and stuff where Let's you see have. How to make this game in Construct Two. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Let's just. Um, I love it when YouTube also plays. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's just pause this. Come on, come on. I'm just going to close the tab because that's annoying. Um, yeah. So if I, <clears throat> if I, if you look here, because the little zigzaggy stair things are oh, kind of. I'm just going to shut the door. The wife is doing a, a zoom in the other room. So we've got to have cross talk there. Um, so you can see the little jaggies there don't always line up nicely so um, that's an unfortunate kind of side effect of having the uh, um, isometric grid you could do two different anim uh, two different sort of uh, uh, drawings for each alternate um, sort of cell as it were um, I see people do that a lot in the static pixel art um, yeah, I mean, I'm not really the greatest at this, so there probably is a better solution, but that's what I came up with at the time. So, the way this is set up, to do the, the nice laying out of a isometric grid, is I have the width of the grid as 15, and then the height as 8. So what that gives me is uh, the mid middle middle piece of the, uh, the width of the grid is, the width of the blocks is 30, and the height is uh, 32, so that so that's the, basically the grid is half of a block. Then you can do the, the placing of everything like that. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. So yeah, to the uh, to the dude to the dude on the channel, I can't remember the name of now because I've had to close it because of the autoplay. That's how it's done. Uh, Maybe I'll get round to doing something a bit more complex than this and actually figure out doing stuff where it's more than one unit high because part of this, part of the sort of sort of cheating of this, because it's only one block high, I don't need to worry about 
stacking of things. If I say had um, a column of two blocks high, how would I decide how to draw that block there? Because um, if I just used the Y sorting, that would be uh, rendered behind the piece that was below it, if you see what I mean. Because um, isometric doesn't care about heights and stuff. Um, if you're bored and want to learn more, or if you're not bored, I mean if you're just interested, um, go look it up on Wikipedia. That has quite a good uh, breakdown of what isometric projection is. Oh, let's do it now. Let's just, because uh, there was a... Because one of the problems with yeah, isometric in, in games or in general, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it now, the set of stairs. Where is it? There you go, Penrose Stairs. So it's an optical illusion. Um, but essentially, uh, with... Oh, uh, this is probably a better example. This picture here. So, from this, because everything's isometric in the name means everything is equal. And oh, I'm trying to suppress a burp. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Oh, um, So I see the, uh, the blue and the red circle. They could be on the same plane. They're so the same. They could be uh, the same heights to each other, and only one sort of square apart. Or the blue could be raised two in the air, and then could be also two uh, two blocks sort of down as well. Um, so yeah, uh, it's ambiguous with isometric stuff where things really are existing in 3D space uh, and that can be problematic just for well one for the player but two for figuring out in the engine how you want to uh, sort things uh, so yeah I'm gonna finish this one here because yeah for, for the most part if you're just gonna do a Bomberman clone and have it uh, with one unit high which is all we need for Bomberman then what you've got there with the uh, order by Y is uh, is all you need really and then just the sprites but uh, if you want to get more complex then yeah maybe I'll do another video on how to do something uh, to handle those situations but yeah for now this is just me testing one that I can talk properly uh, and testing out the technical stuff and maybe I'll given I've got a bit more time on my hands now I'm not commuting for a while, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a few more tutorials, maybe because there's a ton of stuff I've built over the last, blimey, eight years or so that I've got kind of like I think there are some cool ideas in there. I never got to really do anything with them, but someone else might find it useful, I guess. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be me signing off for now uh, until I figure out a way to edit videos. Then uh, maybe they'll a bit more. There won't be so many pauses and stuff. So, yep, that ends my eight-minute ramble. Uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.